afternoon-ish, guys. I know I have awkward timing because my dishwasher is going, but that's just how I roll. So today we are going to be making some lemony melt away coconut thingy majinis. What are they actually called? They are called raw vegan lemon melt away bars. Here we go. Filming on my iPad again. So uh, it's from, as you can see up there, it's from One Green Planet. And I'm just gonna quickly go over the ingredients and then we're gonna put it together. Seems like it's a fairly quick preparation. So I will put the link for this in the description box below. Scroll down. I'm getting comments. <laughs> okay. So I've already pre-measured everything, but I kind of just wanted to show you everything too. Do some Trader Joe's love again. Got my maple syrup from there, coconut flour, salt, vanilla, lemon. I could have got the coconut oil from there too, but Costco has a super good price on the big tub of it. And then the only thing I'm missing, I think in the picture is almond flour, and I got that at the bulk bin of Whole Foods. Almond flour is expensive. Um, I was gonna just grind my own almonds, but I was being lazy and I bought it, and almost like two cups, just a little bit shy of two cups of coconut flour, was like six bucks, it's ridiculous. Anyhow, so, what we got going on over here is we have one and a half cups of almond flour and one third cup of coconut flour. I've never used coconut flour before. It smells and tastes delicious, by the way, if you've never used it. We have a half a teaspoon. Oh, why did it go away? Sorry for the arm. Half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. It said one to two tablespoons of maple syrup um, or, you know, you could probably use agave too. Of course, I opted for the two tablespoons. Um, it's going to be the juice of three of these organic lemons. I have two teaspoons of vanilla and a quarter cup of coconut oil melted. So all I need to do is juice the lemons and then get the food processor. Processor, sir, sir. Food processor. <laughs> Woo! All I need to do is get the food processor out, put everything in, and blend it up. So let's see how that goes. In my multitude of gadgets, gadgets, <laughs> I do have a juicer. Uh, I'm not going to use that because it's only three lemons, so I'm just going to use this uh, handy dandy little hand juicer thingy. I just uh, rolled these on the counter. I don't know if you all know that trick, but if your lemons feel kind of hard, just take them and roll them on the counter really hard. Um, it kind of breaks the little juice pockets in there. Some people also throw them in the microwave for like 10 to 15 seconds. That way you get the most juice out of them possible. Um, I guess I can start throwing stuff in there. There's my lovely food processor. Let's see, so we're gonna go ahead and put the coconut flour in first. And almond flour, both. Let's get all that off of there. Don't wanna waste any of that. Let's see, we've got the two teaspoons of vanilla. We've got the two tablespoons of maple syrup. And don't worry, I have a spatula. I will be scraping all of that out. <laughs> we've got the half a teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt. I'm sure it does not matter what salt you use. That's just, you know, everybody's healthy kick is that pink stuff, so. And it's pretty, so I like it. And then the quarter cup of coconut oil, melted. Again, I have a spatula. I will be getting all of that out. I do not waste. And then now I just need to juice my lemons in there, and then I will blend it up. So I think I got all the juice out of those that I could. Um, you can also zest these beforehand, uh, especially since these are the organic ones and save the zest, either you can probably put it in these melt-aways, roll it, roll the melt-aways in it, or put them in a baggie in the freezer and then you'll have fresh lemon zest on hand. Also what I do with these is I'll take these lemon halves and I'll cut them up into quarters or a little bit smaller and I'll throw them down my garbage disposal, it makes my garbage disposal smell better. So just a couple of things you can do with the leftover lemon. And here's the big squishy gushy mess. It smells lemony and coconutty and yummy. So I am about to blend it all together and see if it's the right texture. Hi. I just scraped down the sides. Oh my gosh, it's lemony. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so. 
I'm gonna add a little more maple syrup to mine and probably a little more I have leftover almond flour I'm gonna add a little bit more of that because it's it's kind of soft and, and you are gonna refrigerate it and it will get hard because of the coconut oil but I think I want it a little stiffer than this I'm not yeah not quite so puckery good so let's see how that goes all right so here's what it ended up looking like now it tastes like a yummy balanced lemon bar instead of a puckery good lemon bar and you can see it's a little bit stiffer now which is what I want so I'm gonna go ahead and take these out I'm gonna roll them up into little balls and then decide what I want to roll them in I think it suggested um, coconut like shredded coconut or more almond flour or powdered sugar I'm gonna do the coconut for sure I think I'm gonna try one in coconut um, flakes and one in almond flour and see what I like better and then roll the rest of them in that so let's see how that tastes all right here we go for the test got a little bit of almond flour here and a little bit of shredded coconut it's the organic raw unsweetened coconut stuff got my handy dandy little cookie scoop we're gonna scoop me off a nice little size nothing too big should be good hopefully it'll come out not too bad leaves a little bit in there and you can always I think uh, if the dough gets a little too warm since it's got the coconut oil in it you can always stick it in the fridge for like five minutes till it uh, till it warm or cools off a little bit and it's a little bit stiffer so just roll it into a ball in between your hands we'll try the coconut first and I haven't set up a tray to set these on to put them in the fridge yet. I'm just going to do a taste test. I guess I should have done these smaller for the taste test. Whatever. Go big or go home, right? Get as much as you want in there. There's the first one. I'm going to wipe off my hands a little. When you do this, it would be wise to make all the balls first so you don't have sticky hands. Um, and then roll them. Just, just saying. All right, so we're gonna roll another one of these up. Try not to get it to look like a football. All right, nice little ball size. Next is the almond flour. It'd probably be good rolled in the coconut flour too. I don't, I don't see why not, but coconut flakes are probably better, so. All right. This one's a little bit more powdery, so I just kind of take it in my hands and hold it like this and let the excess fall off so it's a nice light coating. Uh, all the way around, but you can do it however you like. I just like doing uh, shaking off the excess when it's powdery like this, so um, you don't have like powder everywhere wherever you store it. Anyways, just a personal preference. All right, wipe the hands off again. Just a little. Okay, and so I don't have to move my iPad. We're gonna crouch down. So there's my contestants for you. Let's try, let's see. Hi, okay. We'll try the almond flour one first. Mm. Excuse me. The almond flour one kind of tames the lemony sourness. Because some bites are gonna be a little bit more sour, I think, than others. It's good. It's a nice mouthfeel too. It's like nice and smooth. All right, contestant number two, coconut. Yummy. Mm. I like both, but I think I like the coconut better. What I'm gonna do is this is all the that's all the coconut flour I have left. Not enough to do a whole lot with. I'm just gonna mix the two on the plate. I'm gonna roll everything in some uh, almond flour and coconut flakes. And then it says to uh, it says to put it on like a tray and put it in the fridge for like 15 minutes so it hardens up. And obviously store it in the fridge or they're gonna just melt. So I'm gonna get these all ready and I'll show you what they look like and then I'm gonna just stick them in the fridge I already told you that they taste yummy, so um, 
If you guys have made these or you're gonna make these, let me know. Let me know how you like it. And again, I'm gonna put the link in the description box below for the original recipe. And uh, as you saw, it's super easy. Yummy lemony treat. And then just, uh, just a sweetness and the lemony-ness <laughs> to your taste. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, guys, here we go. For me, it's gonna make about a dozen and a half. We just have those last few to roll. Um, I'm gonna put the last two in there and then I'll put a layer of wax paper over the top and then put the last six and then pop those in the fridge. So go ahead and give these a shot. Again, I didn't roll them in any powdered sugar though that would be rather tasty. And I don't have any powdered sugar, otherwise I probably would have. I can make powdered sugar just by putting the sugar in the Vitamix and blending it to crap, but um, I kind of didn't want to do that because this has got a lot of sugary, salty, fatty goodness in it already. So <laughs> we will just stick with those. That's what they look like. I will see you guys later. Thanks again for watching and go ahead and comment below. Let me know if you've made these before and if you haven't, let me know when you try. Thanks for watching. Bye!